Okay, cool. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, look, yesterday I had a very, 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 very fun, nice, cool, chill, like a like, really nice talk with Chris Nonton, the Egyptologist. And uh, so if uh, and th that talk, it's uh, it's on, it's on this channel. So you wanna if you if you're curious about what we talked, we've talked about ancient Egypt in general, the pyramids and mysteries and the approach. To uh, to the, the approach on the mysteries and yeah we really it was really an interesting talk so um, so yeah go check it out it's under my podcast session section so yeah it's it's about one hour and uh, it's really full of information and wow what uh, what uh, what a video I really yeah what a video what an experience what it was really cool it was really really cool and during the talk uh, we mentioned the um, this Christian de Legit, and uh, I asked because I never found it, uh, and so I asked him if uh, he could provide it me. And here we go. So I thought about why not doing a, a video about the description de Legit, and so I am very like um, I, the way I want to do this. It's uh, very different than the other way that the norm normally I do. So normally I would prepare a video and then I would tell you about what I understood and what I studied and what I... Uh. This time I want to open the, the, the description of the Egypt for the first time together with you and uh, yeah I guess it's almost like a reaction video let's see how let's see how it works. So I have to tell you already I saw the first like five or six pages and then I ho then, then I had the idea okay let's let's do it together so so the first five or six pages I already, I already saw, and uh, what a marvel. So just before we do this, uh, yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because uh, we are going to have more videos coming soon about the temples of ancient Egypt. And uh, also I'm going to talk about a little bit about my architecture in real life. So, uh, so yeah, I really recommend to, to subscribe. And yeah, if you like the video, like the video. So, yeah. Let's go. Description de l'Egypte. Allora, I, I'm not gonna, you know, you know the, the story. So Napoleon comes to Egypt and then with a lot of scientists and artists and try to describe ancient Egypt because before then nothing was really known about Egypt. Uh, really, really not that much. So, yeah, I don't know French, so I can't uh, translate you. So, yeah, I'm gonna just uh, just crawl through the document. And uh, so this is a document that is 200 years old and it's printed on giant papers like really like as big as my desk probably. So this is not a like a f it is not just a book, right? This is the description of it is a, a masterpiece, it's a piece of art, right? Uh, so I know that this image is a fantastical representation of ancient Egypt. Uh, so it's not a real, uh, you know, uh, depict like it's not a real image uh, that, that, uh, that they depicted. Uh, you can see everything, you know. You can see statues, you can see columns of a, of a ruin of a building, you can see the faces of a... Of a, of a um, uh, let me see if I can actually zoom here. Uh, no, I can't. Well, I mean, we're gonna... So, you can see the, the, the top of the head of a statue. You can see, obviously, uh, the... Um, uh, the pyramids and uh, you can see the obelisk you can see the, the river Nile you know and you can see the the, the giant uh, Amenemad, Amenemad no Amenhotep uh, the, the third or the second you know giant colossi so and you can see a temple here the um, the entrance of the temple the pillar the uh, yeah the, the gateway okay sometimes I forget the names I it's been a while I haven't done a video on ancient Egypt and you can see here the sphinxes the the avenue of the sphinxes so this is a collection of a lot of different um, elements of ancient Egypt and uh, yeah you can see the French army here right you can see here so yeah this says it all this is a compilation this document is a compilation of everything in Egypt so this is the isle, the island of Philae, and this is supposed to be the temple, right? This is the plan of the temple, and uh, okay, we can see it's an island in the River Nile. I don't know. I never been south, so I all, I just been to Cairo. I never went uh, south, so the south I've been I was 
maximum I went to Dashur, so I don't know Egypt, you know, a lot uh, in, in this sense. So, so island island of Phile, uh, yeah. I also because the temples of ancient Egypt, I'm gonna tackle the next time, but yeah, I don't. Well, this document is it's portrait, but it's supposed to be landscape, so we might. <laughs> Well, let's see how, 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 how we do this. So uh, maybe I can rotate this here. Let me see if I can rotate this here. I think I can do this. Let me see. Just a second, guys. Da, 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 da. Let me see. Ba, ba, ba. Can I rotate this? Come on. Let me see if I can rotate. Can I, can I please rotate this? Oh wait, okay. Transform. Flip, uh, flip uh, vertical. No, okay. Transform, flip horizontal. Um, no, flip horizontal, no. Okay. Ah, rotate, here we go, okay. Give me a second. Eh? Rotate 90 degrees CW. Yeah! Got, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So here we go. So it should be fine. Um, yeah, but I see it the other way around. So <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is like, uh, it seems like it's a view of the Temple of Phile and looks like it's quite on shape. Like, it's quite, uh, it's quite on shape still. Uh, this is a depiction of 200 years old, eh? so. Yeah, these are still, I guess, are still the ruins of, of the temple. So let me do it bigger. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see some, some columns here. You can see the actual temple here. You can see other, other columns here. I haven't studied this temple, so I can't, you know, I can't really tell you that much about it. So again, I will study temples very soon, but it's beautiful. Eh? So this is what, what what we architects call a section. So it's basically a slice uh, of a, of the building, and you can see the internal. You know, when you slice uh, something, you see the internal parts. So imagine a building as a as a as an organism, as a body. So if you slice the body, you see the internal organs, and you can see here the columns. You can see the beams. So you can see the proportions of the space of the spaces. What a beautiful, beautiful drawing. And you can see here, so you have a courtyard and it's semi-covered, so half is covered, half is not. And you can see the progression of, uh, of the temple to the very end, uh, to the very end of the temple. What a beautiful drawing. Oh, wow, these are the columns and this is the main, the gateway. Uh, I forgot the name, guys. Uh, the pillar, no, what was it there? Don't remember the name, guys. I don't remember it. Uh, but th there is a name. So basically, the the, the entrance in it, like this classic, you know, the classic entrance of of the temple. There is a name of it. I just don't remember. the pylon. Yeah, the pylon. Yeah, 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 the pylon. It's a Greek name. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is the classic entrance of uh, of a temple, of the new kingdom. Eh? Uh, we don't have much uh, temples of old king. Uh, old kingdom. We don't have anything. We have something uh, of the Middle Kingdom that survived, like temples. You, I, I mean, uh, but mostly, mostly is New Kingdom stuff. Capitals. Okay, so whenever you, whenever you know, you remember the hi in, in high school. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the Greek invented the capital and the Romans. Then they developed. Guys, this is a thousand years before the Greeks. <laughs> so, just say. Well, a thousand years, kinda. And look how many typologies there are. What, what, what? This is something new. Like, I didn't know there were that many typologies. Okay, so this is a section again, but it's the section through the pile, through, through the pile, through, through the pilon. And what a wonderful drawing! Look, this really reminds me about the I, I, the work I was doing in a, in an office in Lisbon. I used to do these uh, 3D models and uh, in concrete, uh, and really reminds me about that. No wonder, because the office I was working in Lisbon was very 
ancient Egyptian uh, influenced, uh, although they don't, I don't think they admit, I don't know. Uh, okay, well, this is supposed to be rotated the other way around, but yeah, let me see. So these are some depictions or some artists, some depiction, like, yeah, bus reliefs. I, I, I don't know how to say in English, a bus relief is when you carve the in the stone, but when you carved out, I don't know how you, how you say it in English, uh, but it's a relief, yeah, maybe it's called relief. But these are reliefs on walls, probably. Yeah, you see some of them are, are landscapes, some of them are portraits, so I'm not gonna rotate every time we, we have a slide, huh? Monkey! It's the first time I see a monkey, I guess, in depicted somewhere, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so this one here should be Osiris somewhere. No, there is no Osiris here. This is what is this? Is that is it is it Isis? Yeah, I can't see very well. But anyway, this is the solar boat. Yeah, it's probably a funerary scene. Okay, okay, some some vases, some vases, some Osiris. This is a king beaten up the the enemies. But the king with the strange crown, I, I don't know about this crown, like, uh, there are some leaves, like Osiris, kind of look like Osiris, the crown, but it's not. So this is supposed to be the, the crown of Egypt, but but just the south one, or just the north one, because they, ha they normally use two combined, the red and the white. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is this? Vu perspective the second pylon. Ah, you see, this is the pylon. Et de la cour qui le précède. Ah, it's always the same uh, temple. But this is the... Is this an imaginary? Oh no, this is actually the real thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's the real image. What? What? Is this real? Is this like this? Is this is this as still as preserved? What? Some some fake door here. Some some real door here. Ah, you don't see my ah. That, now you see my mouse. Yeah. Ah, okay. So maybe this is still a funerary depiction. Yeah. Again, some quite oh, a plan. So you see, when I talk about the influence that ancient Egypt had on Greece, look at this plan. What does it remind you of? Doesn't doesn't it remind you of the temples of ancient Greece? But this comes really earlier, like way early. Like this is New Kingdom. So, uh, I yeah it's, it's, is it? Or maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe maybe this is a guys. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is a temple that ca came in uh, in the time where the Greeks were 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 in Egypt. So maybe they influenced ancient Egyptian architecture in this time. You know. So yeah, I don't know. I I didn't study this temple, so I can't tell you. But since I see so many, you know, the statues here, the the head. So maybe. So maybe this is a Greek, you know, is a Ptolemaic temple, maybe, you know. I don't know. I, maybe it is. I, I, I just don't know. Oh, wow. What a drawing. The perspective of the... Ah, it's always the same temple. But is this so well preserved still? What a place. What a place. I don't even know where Phila is, like, it should be, my guess, it should be around a, like a swan, Luxor, in that region, like, is, is, is my guess. Wow. Well, this is beautiful, huh? Just columns. This is just columns and beams. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's the same building, but... Yeah, view from the from the river, which is super cool. Guys. Wow. Yeah, so this is not in color. I wonder why, because the first image was probably too expensive to have it color. Eh? 
maybe the first edition of the description was in color and then they, they made the copies of it maybe mm -hmm. ah, this, this is the island of uh, Elephantine now look in the island of Elephantine there is a pyramid uh, br very broken down uh, it was just recently conf confirmed it was a pyramid like we, uh, but it doesn't have any internal chamber I mean these drawings are beautiful look at this the stairs going down thank you French for doing this uh, although you know some will say I mean let's <laughs> Because some people, you know, Napoleon did, didn't come there to, 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 to do this, you know, they, they came there to conquer Egypt and to, you know, cut the trade, uh, the, the root trade to the English. So they went there for military reasons, but who is the general? Who is the general that goes to war and bring artists and scientists with, with him? And because he respected so much Egypt. Uh, and its culture, you know. So it's fascinating. That's fascinating. And uh, the level of precision of the drawings is... It's really cool. I, I don't know if the hieroglyphs are... the. They should be fine. I think they should be fine. They should be the right ones. So yeah, there is a there is this temple still in the island of Elephantine, and you can see the it's the same style as the one before, like it's similar to Dendera. So this is what makes me think maybe this is just a Ptolemaic, you know, temple because uh, Dendera was a Ptolemaic temple. So you know, this reminds me about that. So it's kind of. Well, you see how the walls they I don't know how to say, they chamf no they don't chamfer sorry they you know they're not like straight they're like a little bit inclined. Uh, and not, that's not because they like the pyramids <laughs> well they did like the pyramids but this is because you don't need as much weight of the wall on top it's just practical to the the the, the higher you go you go to build and the the shallower is the the wall you know uh -huh. what is this combombo <laughs> you the grand temple the Grand Temple <laughs> in France. I see a sphinx here. Now you look at this sphinx. Like there is the lion body and the head. It's a small, so disproportionate from the from the body. So you know when they say to you that the sphinx is you know disproportionate, the head. It, it's true. It is. Uh, but th it's not the first time we see that, right? Again, this I think is might be a Ptolemaic temple. Kombu, Kombu. I don't know how many pages there are here. Maybe we should go faster. Edfu. This is the temple of Edfu. What the heck? Again, guys, I'm gonna. Oof. Look at this. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna. Do, again, I'm gonna do videos on temples. Oof. Look at this. What a plan! <laughs> what a plan is this? Whoa! So you see the entrance was the most, uh, the thickest part of the building, right? So I suppose that it was the one that was supposed to resist the most to, to attacks and where... And then you had the courtyard. Now I believe the courtyards were there uh, for protection. You want to fit an army there. So these temples, for sure, they had rituals. For sure, they functioned for a spiritual and, and religious, you know, uh, with a sp with a spiritual and religious purpose. But I suppose that they were functioning also as like um, like forts, emergency forts, you know, uh, like places like today's like hospitals that you know, if if your city get bombed, you can go to the uh, I guess you know underground uh, tube or or in the hospitals or like buildings that can allow to being sheltered inside you know so 
Yeah, I don't remember the exact name of, of this, but there is a specific thing in Egypt, in the architecture of ancient Egypt, uh, which is this reduction of scale of the spaces. Uh, so you see, this is the biggest space and it's the first one that you enter. And then, uh, and then you pass through a court, that, like a series of you know columns, and then the next one is a smaller space, and the next one is smaller again, and is smaller again, and is smaller again, until you find the very like last space, and it's the darkest, you know. But it sees everything. It see because when you are inside and you are you look towards the outside, you have doors aligned all the way through the axis so whoever is here the priest i guess whoever is sitting in this room will see ev like not everything <laughs> because you don't see left and right but it sees the outside so it's like i am in control like that's what's 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 the spatial like uh significance of that space and uh, but it's, the, it's also the darkest spot of the of the of the building which is curious uh, another curious feature is this like external here uh, corridor which I don't know how what what its function is but uh, it doesn't have it's not covered so it is you know you can see the sky from here and uh, yeah I wonder maybe it's a place where the army would uh, you know uh, hide <laughs> and then you know, I don't know I don't know I just I just just making it up, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, this is a. Uh, you see, this is super. I think this is the king, uh, like the mighty king, <laughs> and uh, taking by the taking the enemies by the head, you know, and uh, with a with a knife or what? Like it's not a knife, but you know, a spear, I guess. Uh, yeah, again, this is another section of the of the pylon. Yeah, yeah. This is ancient Egypt. Yeah, but this is New Kingdom, right? I really wonder how was the Old Kingdom stuff because the only thing we have is the funerary complex of Djoser that resembled a little bit of a temple, you know. So that's the only reference we got uh, about, you know, the best reference we've got about temples in. Oh my God! I saw this. I saw this picture. F some time ago, years ago. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this picture. Cause you see the light coming in from the from the from the colonnade and you see the sand and they are sitting like ten meters high, but since everything is flooded with the with the sand, they are sitting on you know on a ce basically almost on a ceiling level. And it's such a wow! It's such a privilege, no? To because they could see the capitals and the columns from very, uh, from very, you know, very close by, and not from not from down, not from bottom up, but from from the same level of the capitals, which is what a privilege! Wow. Ah, you see, they even draw the plan of the columns here. <laughs> ah, so this probably was not totally visible, right? So they just, yeah, they just show the upper part of it. Yeah, more, we, we gotta speed up a little bit because it's already 20 minutes. Uh, I don't wanna do it too long. Edfu again, beautiful. Elephantine, I guess, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's speed up a little bit. Eh? Esne is another temple. I don't know, <laughs> but they they look all the same, right? They look, I mean, they're not they're not all the same, but they look they look like really really similar to each other. I really wonder if they're all Ptolemaic, <laughs> the ones that we. <gasps> what? The perspective and interior del portique Esne, temple of Esne. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at this plan! Wow, <laughs> four columns, two rooms, poetry. 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 
poetry. Ancient Egypt is uh, See the fascination I've got about the ancient Egyptian architecture, it's uh, it's poetry. It's poetry. It's very rigid, it's very canonical, like it really repeats itself very much. Ah that's it? That's finished? Ah, that's volume one. Okay, so we should have more volumes. Okay, cool. Well, guys. PL 96 so this was a hundred pages uh, okay well I, I'm yeah I'm, I'm sure there are more volumes <laughs> so this was just the first one um, cool so let's leave it here so guys I yeah I mean let me know what you think uh, I I do, I, do, I do I wouldn't mind doing another video with the second volume or the third volume you know but yeah uh, this was a masterpiece um, this is a masterpiece. I leave you the the link to the to this document in the in the description, so you can also download it and look for yourself. Beautiful, beautiful piece of art. Beautiful. But I need more. Okay, this is just one volume. I I want to see. It. I want to see them all. Cool. Speak soon, guys. Bye bye.